everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got another exciting brand new kit to share with you guys today. And it is a uh, soon to be released within the next month or so, uh, 144 scale B1B bomber from Academy Models. And as you can see, we've got it built up already. It was a great kit the way it went together. Uh, extremely good fit, not many parts, uh, like 50 to 60 parts I think was the total amount inside this kit. Uh, and also it's a great scale for such a large airplane in real life so as you can see it's about the size a little bit larger maybe than a 48 scale World War II fighter but great fit great finish on it and it just went together like that on it so it's really really a good model for from any from beginners all the way up to uh, top-end modelers who are looking for a modern-day version of the B1B so uh, it's not a very long video today. It's a little bit shorter because it's a little bit easier cut to put together But uh, a lot of fun though, so let's get started Okay, let's take a look at the new Academy models, 144 scale, United States Air Force B-1B bomber, the Thunderbirds. And as you can see, this is an MCP kit. And what the MCP means is each one of the uh, sprues has been colored to a very similar color that the actual real airplane would be. So as you can see on the outside of the fuselage here, it's a gunship gray. So the plastic for all the fuselage will be gunship gray. There's also a white sprue and some black sprues inside there. And, and that is designed for a, a beginning modeler who doesn't want to, who, you know, paint the model, but just wants to build something up, have a little fun with it. Obviously, it's a very detailed kit that you're about to see, so you can go in really detail quite a bit. But it's to kind of cover all bases with modelers. So let's take a look at the sprues. Okay, let's take a look at the first sprue that we have here. And as you can see, it is in that gunship gray that I was talking about, or a similar color to gunship gray. Another thing you're gonna notice right off on this kit is there is a lot of slide molding, just like in that new AH-1Z that I just built. Lots of slide molding on this kit, which really aids a lot in the, uh, the build of this kit. So we'll kind of just quickly just show you some of the the detail that is in the uh, the fuselage here and as you can see we've got the bomb bay there here is some of the slide molding I was talking about through the front we also have our nose cone right in through here the next sprue has got some really cool slide molding and here is the back part and you can see all of this is molded as one piece here and that is really nice to see as well as We've got the uh, parts of the engine that are slide molded and even the little slit inside the wing. So the wing is a one piece wing with, a, with an opening on the end that you just can slide in the, uh, the mechanism that makes it work. So you can see the front and back in there and then of course the rest of the engine pack is right there. And right after I'm done talking to you, we'll show you a little bit more close up of the sprues like we usually do. Then there is the C sprue. The C sprue is made up of the Bombay doors, a little bit of the landing gear, and some of the other wing parts there. And one, uh, actually there's two of these sprues, but the D sprue is made up of the bombs, the uh, tail surfaces, as well as the tops of the engines, or excuse me, the bottoms of the engines on it. And then like I said, all the different bomb load that you can put in. So you can have the bomb load either open or close, or the bomb doors open or close and show off the bombs inside. And just a couple other ones here. Here are the black sprues for the wheels, as well as the, uh, the, uh, the engine nozzles. And white for any of our landing gear here. And finally, the tiniest little cockpit ever, which that'll always be fun to mask off. But they do give you some pre-cut masks. Hopefully you can kind of see the... Uh, the cut marks in there for putting on the mask on that and also and we also have the decals here as you can see a small little set but uh, have some nice detail inside of them so this looks like to be a fairly easy and straightforward kit to put together not too many sprues not too many parts and we're gonna go ahead and start it up right now
Okay, we're going to glue the cockpit into place here. Uh, I also, before I did that, I just went ahead and sprayed the entire thing a light gray and then painted the seats olive drab and just ran a little black wash over it. Virtually almost all of that is going to be invisible once I uh, put the, the parts together and the canopy on. Now, the next step we need to do is we've gone ahead and glued these two little tabs inside here. And basically what those do is we will glue this little center portion into the wing, the pivot mechanism. And when we put this into place here, snap that in, we will be able to move the wing in any direction we need to. And it'll lock it into place there. So it'll keep it in that position as we uh, start to do that. So we've got two of those to put on. And very, very simple <laughs> design of everything the way it goes. The only thing you just got to keep an eye on too is because the wings are identical, you know, flipped over, just make sure that all of this... Uh, this part right here, this is the bottom of the wing when you look at it. So this will get popped into place right here. You can see the little snap. And then the next step we'll do is zoom out a little bit here, is we will glue the top of the fuselage on. And next we are going to put these little filler pieces in. In fact, I was putting this other one in, and I'll show it to you right there. I actually put it in. And just to do a little test fitting, and it popped in so tight that it, that's in without glue. And you didn't want to try to mess it up to, to, uh, to remove it. So clearly it's to say that these pieces all fit together very, very well. So we will, of course, glue them in. And then when we flip the over, I am not going to put the bomb bay in because I'm going to put the, uh, the plane on the ground. We're going to put the landing gear on so we're not going to have the bomb bay doors open. So that just slides into place too. So you can see it's a very, very good fit on that as well. And then we can also go ahead and glue the nose cone on. I've got a little bit more sanding to do on that, but that'll be something that'll be easy to done. And also, Academy gives you two different positions for the wings, obviously. So they have two different filler pieces for the back here for an open or closed wing. And we're going to do the one that has the open wing. Okay, there's just a couple other pieces we need to assemble here, uh, starting off with the engines. And I'm just kind of putting them together to dry fit them to show you how they actually fit. These are three little pieces that we glued together just a bit ago, and it slides right into its corresponding holes. The other side of the cells are, are popped on like that, and finally the back piece. Now obviously I've got to sand all these up and get them cleaned up, but you can see how quick and easy that goes together. And we're going to leave the, the final part here off because we want to paint those separately, but those will slide right in as well. So we've got this one built up here, and it will just get glued right onto the, the bottom just like that. Now we're also going to leave, and I've started to assemble some of the landing gear pieces. We're going to leave all of these separate for now. We're not going to put them on. They're actually called out in the instructions to go on, but we're going to paint them and weather them and do all that stuff separately. And then we also can work on the rest of the tail too. And that is pretty easy. There's only made up of four total parts because this is all slide molded. And we'll put this into place. And then you can just put this on here. Oh. Goes like that actually, that side. And we've got the other one still on the sprue. So I've got a little bit of sanding and cutting and you know to clean up. And then of course once that gets get all sanded up and glued. It'll go ahead and get mated right to the back of the fuselage here. And you can see it's a very, very tight fit, so it's going to go together really well. So this is all pretty easy, straightforward stuff. I'm going to go ahead and get all these pieces sanded, glued together, and then we'll kind of put all the assembly pieces together. And then we'll come back, and we should be able to start painting. Okay, this is what the, the model looks like mostly built up. Uh, we've left a few little pieces off like the uh, the engine nozzles and the landing gear, but we've gone ahead and attached the little winglets on the front, the targeting pod down here, and a bunch of other little accessories all over that are molded really finely and actually fit really well on it. Now you'll also notice that I've gone ahead and installed the canopy. We've put the uh, the mass on it. Now I haven't glued the canopy down yet and that is just for purposes later on that I still want to go inside there and maybe do some detailing on the inside of the cockpit depending on how much we can see. The canopy actually has a little lip that holds right in sound here so it actually stays in place pretty good. So you can see it's hard to get out but if you flick it right here it comes right out. So I think we'll be able to paint around it and not get any paint inside there. 
Uh, I have, like I said, the land gear off camera. We built all that up right now. Now what I think I'll do is I'll go ahead and put a coat of primer on here just to check the work to make sure there's no flaws, you know, really visible flaws. And this is going to be a really light coat. Shouldn't do too much to fill in all of the panel lines. And then after we're done with that, we are going to go ahead and we're going to use Mission Model Paint. And I'm going to use the Gunship Gray MMP84. I'm really liking this paint quite a bit, uh, especially for putting on airplanes like I did on the helicopter. It goes on real smooth. Really enjoy using that. Okay, we've got the uh, gunship gray on there. We had two coats on, a nice smooth finish that we got out of the mission model paints. As you can see, we've attached the landing gear as well as the a, exhaust nozzles on the back that you saw me paint up a minute ago. One other quick thing uh, that didn't call out in the instructions, but you should be aware of too, is the it needs some weight up in the very front of the uh, fuselage here. If Now, I was able to take the, the bomb bay door out and put the weight up inside there. If not, it wants to rock back because of all the weight back of the, uh, the last set of wheels. But that was a minor thing. So now that we have this all put together like this, now we're going to go ahead and put two coats of clear coat on it to seal in our paint job. And then we can start doing our decaling and doing some of the final painting and weathering on it. We're just going to put a little bit of a panel liner on it now. We're going to use Tamiya's new dark gray panel liner. Oops, sorry about my hand being in the way. It's the same one that we used on the Marine Corps uh, AH-1Z. And we're just going to first, I've mixed a little bit of it in with a little bit of thinner. And then adding a little bit more thinner, we're just going to drag it out over all the panel lines. And I'm just going to show you on the wing here first. And then we're going to let that set up for a few minutes. And then we're going to go over it with a cotton swab. And just in some of the areas that don't have the panels, just remove some of the excess on it here. And the wing got really dark, and that is because of the thinner that we use on it. Once it dries, the actual I've actually done the other side here, and it's just highlighting some of the panels. We don't want to go too heavy on this because this bird is uh, is a really small scale. So we don't. I think if we use black panel liner, I think it'd be too harsh against that, and would make the panels look too large. So I think the uh, the dark gray is going to work out really well on this. So I'm going to go over the airplane and finish up doing all the rest of the fuselage and the. Uh, and the rest of the wings and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like once it's done well here we go guys here is our completed model uh, and I have to say it was a great uh, little easy build and what I mean by that is there was not as you saw during the construction not a lot of parts to put together I think there was a grand total of like 50 to 60 parts uh, fit was very very good on the kit uh, the decals are cartograph decals so you know those laid down beautifully and just just overall, just a great little fun little build to put together.
I also think this is a great size, especially for such a large aircraft in real life. This puts this at 144 scale, a little bit larger than a 48 scale World War II airplane, like a P-38 or a uh, P-47, you know, some of the larger single-seater fighters. The, uh, the quality, like I was saying earlier, is very, very good. So this is something that even a beginner modeler will be able to put together because there's not that many parts and the fit is just phenomenal on it. Now, unfortunately, I don't know the price on this kit yet because this is a very early sample. But from what I understand, the kit will be out sometime in April to early May. So not, in the, not too far future. And I would definitely recommend, especially with the quality of this kit, to pick one up if you can. So I want to thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos.